guys welcome back with another video this is dot 5.2.1 very latest build and this is a port and i ported this for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well and this is a stable port and let me show you from the setting about section you guys can see the new animation of storage here like miui and you guys can see you guys can directly access the sd card and you guys can uh, see your sd card format the format which will be bfat xfat whatever you guys can check from there and here you guys can see android version 11 and device on client and kernel version as well and after that we have system and you guys can see we uh, have by default the and a usb keyboard but you guys can install google keyboard no problem because this is not a vanilla build i am using here the gfs build so if you guys want vanilla build i will drop the link of that uh, rom as well no problem uh, so that you guys can easily use any kind of gfs whatever you want that's why and this and i will give both link no problem and after that we have the accessibility you guys can see here uh, screenshot options you guys can enable uh, whole volume keys and after that display size font size whatever you need and magnification color inversion whatever you need you guys can make it no problem and mono audio you guys can enable this one as well if you want them and we have uh, security section and in security section you guys can see the screen lock and we have face unlock and fingerprint so everything is there and face unlock is working pretty much fine no problem everything is just working here and fingerprint is one tap just one tap and it's unlocked no problem and apps and notifications so many things are there you guys can access directly from here any applications no problem and here is the sound and display settings and display settings dark theme wake plug everything you guys can enable from here no problem and everything just working pretty much fine without any issue and here you guys can see live display you guys can enable reading mode from here and or you guys can enable reading mode from that notification toggle without any problem and advanced settings color calibration if you have idea then you guys can um, make a miss here no problem and we have sound profile and which is uh, differently categorized and new look you guys can see it's cool it looks cool without any problem you guys can change ringtones uh, from here so many ringtones are there no problem and audio amplifications whatever in the google llc and these things are working pretty much fine without any issue and headphone gain you guys can uh, reduce and increase whatever you want and microphone speaker again whatever you guys can use no problem and dial buttons you guys can customize and finally we have here the gaming dashboard you guys can enable that uh, dashboard and if you want a floating window like miui then you guys can enable that quick controls a screenshot a screen recorder do not disturb whatever you need you guys can enable from here so many options are there uh, so PUBG Mobile is added here in the game section you guys can see and after that we have the final thing which is customization and this is really cool this is uh, inspired by android 12 you guys can see here you guys can directly change wallpaper from here and system colors if you want to then you guys can change so many colors are there by default and you guys can make mess from that color section smart accent picker and clock face launcher grid so many things are there you guys can uh, change and here is the icon back if you want to change you guys can do change and it looks really cool in different ways the user interface is really different from the other custom roms and we have the uh, font here you guys can change by default so many fonts are there and you guys can see disable notification transparency you guys can do that if you enable and more setting we have everything you guys can see here the clocks but this is we don't have the system of uh, aod that's why they already removed aod no problem and here is the status bar just click on the icons and here you guys can see every necessary single like uh, items with their functions what you need you will get here battery percentage style you guys can enable from here no problem and here you guys can see show clock clock position you guys can see you guys can change the clock position and 
like this whatever am pm style you just can make it larger and smaller whatever you need just click like this it will be changed and here traffic indicator you guys can see it's working here and traffic meter and we have status bar items uh, here dual 4g ld whatever you need voltage everything is just working fine without any problem and we have here the quick settings you guys can see tiles accent version 2 you guys can toggle and rows and columns you guys can manage from here if you want to add rows and columns you guys can do from that options and we have finally app lock you guys can lock uh, any application you want and after that we have buttons so in button section we have uh, the regular items and after that we have system and in systems we have so many things hold power button to torch so you, if you want to enable this one then you just press and hold the power button your uh, flashlight uh, will be turned on so no problem this is really cool and double tap feature and double tap to open ambient display you guys can enable this one i don't need that and double tap to sleep double tap to wake both options are there d2 s you guys can enable and after that we have pocket mode security and never pill you guys can see here i'm using here the large pill you guys can uh, change this by clicking here so you guys can see now it's small in size so you guys can enable this no problem and miscellaneous we have advanced reward section like this you guys can get that advanced fee advanced you guys can see just click on there and you guys will get advanced boot feature so here is the equalizer and here is the alpha mark both are important things and i will show you later in the video and after that we have metal section let me show you and here is the dual sim i'm using and let me open one and wi-fi calling here is the volte and later you guys can see wi-fi calling is here you guys can enable which sim card you want to enable no problem and after that we have the carrier video calling so everything is done there and now let me show you interesting thing by default we have that music player so let me play one music so i'll show you the volume panel so this is the volume panel you guys can see uh, it looks like this and after that just let me turn on and let me turn on the lock screen you guys can see here is the visualization of the music you guys can enable that feature which i already showed in the settings so just you guys can see it works like this so let me turn off the music right now and this is the features and you guys can see here you guys can customize anything by clicking on edit section and other things are really cool working without any problem and according to your wallpaper your background will be changed on the settings and flashlight is working you guys can see without any problem uh, mobile data airplane hotspot everything is working and i don't have any uh, system to check the screencast so that's why i could not say that could not test and here is the screen recorder you guys can see you guys can record a screen no problem and let me show you i don't want to open that one so let me show you some screenshots i already taken so here is the gig bench score you guys can see 264 and which is pretty much good no problem then here is the long screenshot i already taken you guys can also take this long screenshot in that wrong no problem and what most interesting feature feature i got here uh not feature actually a cpu throttle to 93 percent which is the best in redmi 7 i got previously i got it on mi y12 maybe yes mi y12 and after that this one and this is this is really really cool and you guys can see here safety net is passed by default so no issues with that and let me show you safety net in front of you guys 
so that you guys uh, cannot say I'm doing something fake this is real you guys can see in front of you safety net is passed by default you flash magics or not doesn't matter you can pass safety net by default and here is the map and which is working pretty much fine and this is really accurate no problem I checked everything and here you guys can see the compass I added this compass from MIUI and here you guys can see and when you click on allow it will crash because if you want to use that one just firstly enable the location and then open that thing without any problem so open now and here you guys can see it's working without any problem it will work really really cool this is the thing so hope you guys understand everything and let me show you some cool widgets which I already missed here you guys can see this is the widget you guys can use like MIUI 12 uh, I'm sorry Android 12 uh, clock widget is available in that ROM as well and let me show you other things uh, here is so many clocks are there and if you guys want to enable Android 12 uh, clock widgets in Android 11 I already made videos on that so you guys can watch that and here you guys can see so many things are there you guys can add uh, from wizards so this is it hope you guys understand the video and most interesting thing is that I already added here the Deku's Gcam this Gcam is really really cool you guys can enable the night mode and you guys can enable uh, night mode and take photos in night which is really good and we have portrait mode and video section and we have some filters amazing filters let me show you so here you guys can see the filters it does great job so uh, thanks to Deku for that and here is the video section you guys can do video and we have translate mode so you guys can use everything and finally let me show you the animations so how smooth is the animation in that room you guys can see so smooth it's very smooth you guys can see it's really really cool the applications which application you close and open is it does great job without any problem so you guys can see the smoothness and let me show you so everything and here is the recent panel you guys can take a screenshot and clear all the reasons and you guys can see the smoothness no lag and stutter so if you want this ROM you guys can try on your daily life without any issue with the, you guys can easily use no problem and hope you guys understand the video and if you guys really like that work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching